my TV. Well, no, 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 not intentionally, but like it's it's probably in his room. See what I'm saying? Hi guys, my name is Brendan Morrison, and a lot of people have been asking me how I do my corks, so I want to give you all the information that I can, throw a bunch of knowledge at you, and see if I can help you turn a cork that looks a little bit sloppy and a little bit less controlled into kind of the cork style that I do. Um, I don't believe my cork style is the best. Um, I think it looks really good, but it's not the most functional. Now, when I learn any skill, I want to work in three steps. I want to get practicality, functionality, and then style and cleanliness. Now, if you are barely landing your cork, you do not have a practical cork. I want you guys to go back, and before you start cleaning up, focusing on that straight leg, focusing on pointing your toes, I want you to go and do 100 or 200 corks, however you can land it. If you can land it safely, then you're good. Then keep drilling it. Do 20 a session in the beginning as your warm up. And then by 10 sessions, you'll have drilled 200 corks. And that will make you a lot more comfortable and it'll give you the ability to focus on other things as you do the trick. Now, as far as functionality goes, I want to make a big difference between two different types of corks. We have a hip set cork where you go really high and you kind of are a little bit more off axis. And then you have a swing cork or a transition cork where you're straight overhead, and it's all about a hip set or a lean. Another thing about functionality is being able to swing your cork. I want to help you guys swing your cork, and the way to do that is to get eagle to eagle corks. You guys know what an eagle position is, where you have your arms back, your leg back, and your plant leg down, and you can push through that motion. Every swing cork should be eagle to eagle to eagle to eagle. It is all about the eagle. That position and getting to that position with your chest up and your leg back is very key. So, for functionality, master the two different types of corks, low and fast, and high and a little bit more off axis, and also get comfortable going eagle to eagle. Don't immediately try cork swing cork, try cork swing gainer. And remember, all of this, we're not worrying about how clean we are, we're not worrying about pointing our toes, we're not giving a damn about any of that, we are just trying to get over and nice. And now that we've worked practicality and functionality, we got to go back to drilling. Do 200 corks, 200 eagle to eagle corks, 200 low corks, 200 high corks. Do a whole bunch. Don't worry as much about the little it's and bitsy pieces. Get comfortable, get practicality and functionality of your cork, and then we can work on the little little baby things that aren't really that important. Now where most people ask me questions is in regards to style and cleanliness of a skill. I don't think that my corks are the most practical. Keeping your right leg straight during the entire skill is a real pain and it will not give you the optimum swing position. If you look at Bailey Payne who set the cork world record, amazing corks, they're really low and fast and he keeps a tucked body. That lets him use not that much energy and keep it going again and again and again and again. The way that I do my corks will look effortless, but it is a lot of effort and it is a huge pain. And if you want to shoot for double corks and things, you need to keep both legs straight and not tuck in the left. Anyway, that aside, I'm going to talk through my cork really quick and voice over a video of me doing it in super slow motion and give you guys kind of an idea of how I do mine. All right, the first thing you guys will notice is that I like to train my corks from a pivot. The pivot step gives you no power and kind of relies on solely your muscles. It lets me condition and work that skill. Now, I try and get to my eagle position first. Once I hit my eagle, I have my chest up, arms back. From here, I can swing all the way 
to the slant gainer position. Now I don't want to rush my twist, so I want to make sure I hit this position with my plant leg nice and straight. Now I try and hit my figure four. This is my favorite position in a cork. My left leg is tucked, but my right leg is straight. Then I keep going and try to swing right to an eagle, and from this eagle I'm able to swing another cork. Now that you guys kind of know how I do things and how I, what I think about as I do my cork, I want to give you guys a whole bunch of drills because thinking about it only does so much. In reality, it's conditioning drills and getting comfortable with the skill that'll really master your cork. So here are some conditioning drills that'll help you get that straight leg, get that left leg in, get that lean to it, get that look, not use your arms as much and use your legs more as you twist, get that full lift, First drill I want to go over is straight full leg jumps. When we jump a lot of times, we don't use our full leg. We kind of do that guy. That jump is very quad dominant. You use your thigh muscles a lot more than you use your calf muscles. So what I want you guys to work on is get in first position, or second position I think. It's a ballet drill. We're going to dip down. We're going to try and jump all the way through from our knees and then our ankles and then all the way through our toes. That full leg jump is going to be imperative for keeping your legs straight because each jump you're going to do when you do your cork is going to be embodied of this jump. Nice and strong. You'll notice my feet get pointed at the very, once I leave the air my feet are pointed the whole time because I've been, I'm activating my calves to push the balls of my feet down. Do 200. Do 500 of these. Literally the key to getting good at tricking is drilling and consistency. So do 200 nice straight leg jumps. If you cannot jump and keep your legs straight, you're gonna have a hard time corking. Now, where I see a lot of people fail in keeping their legs straight as they swing is a flexibility issue. Once they get to here, their leg starts to bend because their hamstrings get tight and, this, and that bend completely reduces that. So, point your toes, basically we're going to do touch, touch. Touch the ground, touch the sky, touch the ground, touch the sky. 200 of these on your swing leg. Try and keep your chest up on these. Now as far as the left leg goes, you'll notice I don't have it pointed the same direction that I'm swinging. I have it pointed out a little bit, so that way I can get my swing between my ear and my shoulder which is the right degree of inversion that I like for my cork. After I pull up and do that full leg jump off my base leg, I pull it in. Now, I like to think about my heel whacking my butt. Try and bring my heel towards my butt as I wrap in. Boom, 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 boom. That way I can twist with my leg and my leg. Well, with my leg and my arms. So, one drill to get you comfortable with that is to stand here and just pull in that right there rather than pulling the leg slamming it into the other one take your knee and try and focus on bringing the foot in towards the other one think about a twist kick bah! that sort of kick that's the kind of thing that we're doing but only we're chambering it and not extending the kick bringing it in towards the other leg Now, a lot of people have trouble getting their full flip in it. A few things that can really change the amount of flip that you get when you cork. And I went over a lot of this earlier, to get that lean, to get that cork. Leaning as you swing will get you over a lot faster. Now, we are gonna flip faster if we scrunch our body in. Now, we want our right leg to be straight so we can take our left and bring it in closer and closer. And this is like a tuck. Now one leg is out, but a lot of our mass has shifted towards our center of rotation, and that's gonna flip us a lot more. So if you're bringing your leg like this, you're not gonna flip as fast as you bring it up and in. Strengthen your hamstring of your uh, plant leg. That'll make a huge difference as you throw your corks. Hey guys, I really hope all that helped you kind of get a better feel for your cork and kind of help you really master the skill. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm coming back from a pretty serious injury. I tore my ACL and meniscus 
and had to get a pretty extensive surgery where they took out a little bit of my hamstring and put it to where the tendon used to be, or the ligament, I apologize. But you guys were really there for me throughout the whole process, and I really want to help out the community and those who really have helped me. So message me, send me attempts. Um, I can't do this forever. Usually I charge like $60 an hour for a private lesson, but I want to help the community. So send me a message. I want to do this for as long as I can and kind of give back to the community. So let me help. I'm here for you. Use me as a resource. But until then, have a wonderful day.